Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday the 1st of December. Hard to believe we're at December already. So it is, um, but there you are. And um, we're going to come together again and read and pray. So this morning we're going to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 together. So let's hear God's word. You yourselves know, dear brothers and sisters, that our visit to you was not a failure. You know how badly we have been treated at Philippi just before we came to you and how much we suffered there. Yet our God gave us the courage to declare his good news to you boldly, in spite of great opposition. So you can see that we are not preaching with any deceit or impure motives or trickery. For we speak as messengers approved by God to be entrusted with the good news. Our purpose is to please God and not people. He alone examines the motives of our hearts. And for once did we try to win you with flattery, as you well know. And God is our witness that we are not pretending to be your friends just to get your money. For as, human, as for human praise, we have never sought it from you or anyone else. As apostles of Christ, we certainly had a right to make some demands on you. But instead, we were like children among you. Or we were like a mother feeding and caring for her own children. We loved you so much that we shared with you not only God's good news, but our own lives too. Don't you remember, dear brothers and sisters, how hard we worked among you? Night and day we toiled to earn a living so that we would not be a burden to any of you as we preached God's word to you. You yourselves are our witnesses, and so is God's, that we were devout and honest and faultless towards all of you believers. And you know that we treated each of you as a father treats his own children. We pleaded with you and encouraged you and urged you to live your, to live our lives, your lives in a way that God would consider worthy. For he called you to share in his kingdom and glory. Therefore, we never stop thanking God that when you received his message from us, you didn't think of our words as mere human ideas. You accepted what we said as the very words of God, which of course it is. And this word continues to work in you who are believe, believers. And then, dear brothers and sisters, you suffered persecution from your own countrymen. In this way, you imitated the believers in God's churches in Judea who, because of their belief in Christ Jesus, suffered from their own people, the Jews. For some of the Jews killed the prophets. Some even killed the Lord Jesus. Now they have persecuted us too. They fail to please God and work against all humanity as they, keep, as they try to keep us from preaching the good news of salvation to the Gentiles. By doing this, they continue to pile up their sins. But the anger of God has caught up with them at last. Dear brothers and sisters, after we were separated from you for a little while, though our hearts never left you, you tried very hard to come back. We tried very hard to come back because of our intense longing to see you again. We wanted very much to come to you and I, Paul, tried again and again, but Satan prevented us. After all, what gives us hope and joy and what will be our proud reward and crown when we stand before our Lord Jesus Christ when he returns? It is you. Yes, you are our pride and joy. Amen. The end of First Thessalonians chapter 2. Uh, interesting bit at the very start in verse 2. It says, you know how badly we have been treated in Philippi. Now when you read the letter to the Philippians, it's you don't really pick up on that. Philippians is a, a great letter in how it's written in that it, it's a very good example of, of Christ, Christian living. How we should live our lives to follow Christ. And we don't really get much of a sense of persecution in it. And yet in this letter to the Thessalonians, we hear how badly they've been treated. It wasn't by the believers, because at the end of the letter to the Philippians, uh, as, you, as you read it, Paul talks about how the church in Philippi has supported them the whole way through their journey, the only church to have done it. So the believers, the Christians, were very good to them. It's the other people. You know, that's so true for us. Um, as we live for, for God, as we, as we live our lives for Christ, 
we do face persecution and we do face trials and tribulations uh, and people will oppose what we are doing but it's about how we continue to live for God and Paul talks about setting an example he talked about how he they, they could have they had a right to, to demand that the people support them but they didn't instead they wanted to set that example where they worked and earned and then gave back and continued to give back to the others to show them how to look after others, how to support others. Same is true for us. You know, it, it's about how we um, use everything that we have, how we um, put our resources in, just how we support one another. Um, the world's hard enough out there, isn't it? And the world is difficult enough. We really need to look out for one another and really need to help one another. And, and look at the very end. Paul talks about how his reward, his crown, his pride will be seeing the, those believers from um, Thessalonica uh, in glory. And how that hard work is rewarded, not here on earth, but in heaven. So today, yeah, I know this is going to be a difficult challenge, but here's a challenge for you today. Today, as we go about what we do, think about the people who are around you, maybe not physically, but the people who you would have maybe seen and who you can't see because of the lockdown. Think about them, pray for them, um, that God will be with them and give them the strength that they need these days. But then maybe give them a call, actually see how they're doing uh, and, and walk with one another and support one another. Because as fellow Christians, as fellow believers, that's what we should do. Set an example, follow one another and help one another. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you again for this day. Thank you again for the, the many messages and challenges that your word brings to us, as well as the encouragement. The encouragement of knowing, Lord, we don't work for our own glory, but for your glory. And that will be rewarded one day in heaven um, in a way which we can't imagine, in a way which the, the world doesn't really recognise. Lord, help us this day to look out for our fellow believers, our fellow Christians, those who are walking this path with us, who trusted you, and maybe those who are having a little bit of trouble, a little bit of difficulty, those who are struggling at this time, and help us to be able to support them and support one another, um, just in very simple ways as well as practical ways. So Lord, please be with us this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching. Great to see all the names popping up. Um, back again this time tomorrow again. So until then, take care. See you soon. Bye.